Hi, welcome to another video in our series. <clears throat> so thank you for the feedback I've had on the video so far. What I'd like to do in this one is uh, reflect on the, the, the last number in, that we've gone through, the last few that we've gone through, um, and take into account the feedback that, that some of you have sent me. So first piece of feedback um, was why are we doing these? What What is the purpose for them? Second piece of feedback or request was what can each athlete do with the information in the video or what is intended as, as follow-up actions? So tack on the first one, why are we doing these? So it was actually quite an interesting question because I reflected myself as to why am I putting them together and what am I looking for in uh, my own coaching philosophy or working with each of you? And one thing that came clearer to me is for, uh, for the people I'm working with, a real sense of passion and enjoyment and satisfaction for me is seeing performance improvement, um, whatever range that may be at, <clears throat> but performance improvement through the totality of the, uh, the, the all elements that feed into your training and what it is that you're looking for in terms of, uh, of personal growth, um, whether it's events, whether it's satisfaction from training, whether it's achieving a milestone, whether it's improving on time, but doing that in a way that's a little bit more holistic and fits in a positive way with the rest of your life. So if you look at the mind map I produced, a lot of that is not just one element, a narrow element of a training plan. And it, I think it's it, it became clear to me in my reflection that, you know, the, the training plan is a very important um, cornerstone, but it's just part of the puzzle as to how do we improve. So a, a reason to produce the videos is Part of the philosophy I have as a coach is athlete empowerment and athlete knowledge. The more knowledge that you can have and the more you can understand the rationale behind some of the things that we work on, the more you can adapt and feedback to me so we can adapt together how we're processing, uh, how we're going through the process, how we're taking the sessions, how we're adjusting it. It's one of the reasons why we have various um, uh, levels of detail in the plans we have. So individual sessions for the turbos, which are designed down in the seconds, up to uh, next level up, couple of weeks, maybe four weeks, two weeks, six weeks, whatever the relevant block is for you. And then the wider, what are we trying to go for this season? And for some of you, multi-season. So looking at what, what does this year's foundation lay so that next year we can look at uh, taking that foundation and improve upon it? And all of that is about um, giving you the athlete knowledge so that you can see the logic or appreciate the logic behind some of the, the work that we do. Also, we'll talk about what you can do with the videos so far. So the first two videos were very much... Um, helping understand the training principles so the idea with the kettlebell swinging back and forth was about stressing and recovery what you can do with that then is reflect upon the training and the structure that you have and if you're finding that your the stressing seems to be too much flag that to me and we can talk about whether it's sufficient or whether it's um uh, it's, it's, it's too great for you and also appreciate that when you're going through those training sessions, actually focusing on your adaptation and recovery is really important to get the benefit from the stress you've just put yourself through. So this back and forth is a really important pattern that we want to have of stressing and adaptation. Take that principle and have a look at your training um, and how your uh, recovery is as important as the training stress that you're going through just having a look at some of my notes here also it's considering your training not other people's training so there is a lot of pressure on social media to um to present yourself in a certain way in terms of how you're training 
um, what your peers might be doing. And it's, it's having that knowledge so you can train smartly. If you just stress and stress and stress, you won't get that adaptation and eventually it will lead to, um, to injury or burnout. The second video was about the training principles we're using in terms of um, polarization. So the very, very heavy weight and the lighter weight. And you can see that the lighter weight further out in the seesaw was representing the greater volume of that light training paired with the very heavy weight, the high intensity work that we do in much shorter um, durations, much shorter volume with those. And it's that balance, that extremity of balance that we want to achieve as opposed to the merging in to some kind of middle average. We want these extremes. So the ability to stimulate adaptations with low fatigue through very easy training and the ability to generate other adaptations through very, very high intensity for short bursts. One of the reasons to share that with you and what can you do with it is probably the, the most important thing is buy, the buy-in to your training plan and executing the training plan with that intensity discipline. There is a number of things which will challenge that intensity discipline. Again, it comes back to peers. It comes back to your own um, sense of wanting to smash sessions and having the discipline to make sure that when you're smashing sessions, they are those ones you should smash and then enjoying the process um, the easy miles, they are causing adaptations. You don't need to stress your body too highly for your body to start to um, generate the extra mitochondrial, start to get more efficiency. These are things, start to get strength, um, some of that endurance. These are the things which will lead you to be in the long term, a better, stronger athlete. The second set of videos were very much about life. And the reason I put those together was so that you can consider not just the training stimulus you have, but all those other things, the, um, the relationships, food, alcohol, social pressures, um, family, work, finance, all those items. Have a look at them, consider at times, because I don't see most of those, you share some of it with me, but have a look and see, is there areas where you're finding either excess stress or actually things are going pretty well and you can execute some pretty challenging training sessions? Also have a look at it and think, okay, are there areas there that I could optimize? Could I do something else with my sleep? Are there habits that I've got into that perhaps I could change them and create some positive practical change outside of pure uh, training sessions? Or are there mental links that I have in relationships with some of those items that I could look to change and consider it in a, a different way, which would help me mentally uh, be more positive? So uh, an example, um, stress about work something that's been building up and building up around work, is there some positive actions you can take that actually could help you get some more certainty and reduce that stress or consider things in a different manner? I don't have all the answers for you, but the idea with that video was to start to stimulate some of that reflection. And the takeaway is to consider if there's anything concrete you can do, either in practical steps or in um, mental reassociation. So I hope that's helpful. I've got some more videos coming. As always, really appreciate your feedback and the time you take to have a look at these videos. Um, hopefully that's given you a little bit of insight into what's my thinking about why to do these videos, the coaching philosophy behind it, and also triggered you to consider, is there anything you can take from these videos and apply them in your own um, training and in your own lifestyle? Okay, thanks very much. I'll do another one now, which is on the same um, principle of uh, understanding training methodologies and a little bit of the reason why we do what we do.
Okay, thanks.